Hello, Randy Reindeer, and I did it. I finally got a hold of one of these Radio Shack Robotic Banker Robotic Arms. Tommy made a lot of products for Radio Shack, and I'm dying to find out if this is one of them. This is... Randy Robot Garage. So here it is, the Robotic Banker by Radio Shack, which was part of Tandy. If you look at the box, you will not see who it's made from. It just says Radio Shack, says Tandy, no maker. But if you get the robot out and you look on the bottom and you can see it is not Tommy. And if you could feel the robot, you'd know immediately that it is not Tommy. This is made by Waco, but it is a Japanese company. When I think of Waco, I don't think of Japan. I think of Waco, Texas. But this one isn't supposed to work, so let me get inside. Got some cracking going on the rubber here. But that one looks good. But that one's not bent near as much as that one is. The battery door is way back here. You can see. Just kidding, it's, a, it's fake. I got a whole bunch of them at the magic shop the other day. Four for a dollar, fake roaches, can't beat it. It takes one C battery. It looks pretty good in there. Here's how you get the coins out. And this kind of plastic, Tommy never used anything like that. There's the four main screws and there's one more. And it appears it needs to come out as well. Very interesting. Okay. So I think this can come all apart if I pop this out. This comes off. Spring's been melted to it. This can kind of come out like that. This pops out. And it looks like this should come out. Yep, just like that. I can see I'm missing a screw here, and this screw is not tightened down all the way. And then should all slip out. I'll go give that a good cleaning. And so now we're down to this little guy. Old metal housing, but we got a plastic gear, but a metal small gear. It's right there. You'd think something would be under there, though. Ah, there he is, right there. Darn it. Okay, well, meanwhile, as I was trying to figure out where that screw was, this fell out. I know it has to go in there because that was there. So it went in like this. And you got this thing. If I push down there, that does that. If I give this a pull, You can do that. We'll come back to this. Did that do anything? It did do something. That comes off. Take this switch off. This comes out. So I gotta get into here. Those were easy. I wish they would have done these that way. Yeah. Aha! There's the motor. Take that away. What do we got here? A little slip gear. 
your little programming wheel that but I see a crack on that gear right there. I want this guy off of here. Because this gear, this one's not cracked either. But, I think I have it. Get on the other side. That'll spin that. That will spin. That's fine. But now it comes down to this guy that is actually cracked. I don't have that exact gear. I've got this one. Look how close it is. Same small gear, same big gear. Only problem is, you know, it doesn't stick on the shaft. I do have this one that sticks on the shaft. Look at that. That will, and I have a tin tooth, so that is my option. But this big giant hub here is got to come off first the tin tooth now I need to fuse these two works perfect absolutely perfect it's motor cleaning time and these are the ones I don't like these are next to impossible to get open without some sort of tool that I don't have for these motors I'm just going to use an all-purpose oil top of it and like so I'll bend you just a tan Is when you put a coin here it's going to connect and turn on the motor the motor is going to start turning and it's going to activate that switch and it's going to go through the whole thing until it comes back around here
And so you have several things. You have something that's riding in right here. So it's going to follow this track as it goes around. There's something here on the side that's getting activated along with that switch. There could even be something else over here for these little notches, but maybe not. Definitely that peg there in the center has to go into that slot. Oh, that's what that screw did right there. That gets you this out. And that out. Hmm. Okay. Yeah. so hard. I think that might be the problem as well. Those need to be put on after. Oh yeah, that's way what that's supposed to be. On this thing, I decided not to take the sticker off to get to that screw. I'm not doing that. I don't need to. On this, I am going to spin it all the way around. Come on, can't you get over here and stay? Come on, leave you like that then. Oh, that rubber is almost gone. I wonder how this works. How does it grab that? That's what's confusing me. Am I missing something? Oh, I bet it goes right there. Oh yeah, that thing goes. And so, maybe it goes there. Ah, so I gotta go behind that. I gotcha. I gotcha. Right? Yes. And I don't know what's stopping me though from it's that thing. If I open this claw up, what does that do? Does that allow me in? That allows me in gotta open the claw up. That allowed me to get in. That one goes right on in. And that one goes in. interesting that the white is as white as can be but the blue has UV damage all this has to be fed through But 
this on. seems hard to get on until you realize that little thing has to go over that little spot where the spring is being held. Once you figure out that goes in, it pops right into place. So there it is, the Robotic Banker and Advice Giver. Put out by Radio Shack, made by Waco. So, you ready to see it take my money and give me advice? Well, here we go. First, I'll put a quarter in. And now, it will take the money, but you have to ask it a question. So my question is, is this video going to get a million views? Ask again. All right. Well, here's a dime. I got 10 cents. Yes, is this video going to get a whole bunch of views? Well, ask again. Alright, I'm running out of money here. Here's a nickel. Again, is this video going to get a bunch of views? Why, you little pizza... Alright, here is a penny. Well, I at least get some views. Well, I'm not asking again. If you like this video, I sure would appreciate a big thumbs up. If you want to see more, hit the subscribe button. I want to thank these people here. These are the patrons. These are the people bringing you the robotic banker and advice giver. 
I wouldn't be able to have this great advice if it wasn't for these people right here. So I thank them oh so very much. And if you'd like to become a patron, of course, there are links and all that stuff and perks and whatnot. So go check it out. Anyway, there it is. Radio Shack Robotic Banker. That was... Randy Robot Garage. <laughs>